Welcome to World Gear Reviews for another camera comparison shootout and you already know what it is, it's the Realme 6 which is the entry level Realme for 2020 versus the Realme 6 Pro which is a step up from the Realme 6 versus the flagship from Realme at the moment, the X50 Pro. Now one thing that's really interesting about all three of these phones is they all have a 64 megapixel primary sensor. So we can kind of predict how this video might turn out but there will be some surprises so stick around. And this intro hopefully will serve as a good mic test for you guys as well, how it compares on the different devices and also selfie video. And make sure you stay to the end because at the end I'll be doing the night comparison and that's where it's going to get really interesting. Anyway, you ready? Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to keep my opinions short and sweet to save you time. Although I do encourage you guys to engage in the comments and let me know what you think of each photo because I like to hear your opinions. So picture one and as I mentioned all three devices have a 64 megapixel primary sensor and a dedicated 64 megapixel mode in the camera settings and that's what I used in this photo. And this one is actually quite surprising considering the price differences between the three devices. All three deliver quite exceptional details here. The only difference that I can really see is that on the 6 and the 6 Pro, both seem to have sharper details in the foreground. Whereas the Realme X50 Pro has more detail overall with the focal point being a little further back. And that's not because I touched the screen further back. I literally just took these out of my pocket and took the photos and that's how I did all of the photos in this video. Literally just point and shoot. So you get the most natural results from the devices. Anyway, which one do you like better here? Let me know. And now let's move on to picture two. So this is a color test and all three devices deliver really impressive results when it comes to colors. With that said, I feel the Realme X50 Pro is doing the best job when it comes to maintaining details in those very bright and colorful areas of the flower. Still, I'm impressed with all of the devices here. Really impressive colors, but I think the X50 wins this one. And now let's move on to picture three. And all three of these phones have an ultra macro mode. So for those of you not so familiar with macro mode and what it is, basically, it's a dedicated mode that will allow you to get very close to your subject, literally like centimeters away from it and still capture amazing details. In the past, if you got too close to something with a phone, it would just be a blurry mess. But anyway, let's talk about these photos. They were all taken at exactly the same distance. And there is of course a standout winner in this one. And you already know what it is. I don't even need to tell you. It's not surprising to see the most expensive device delivering the best results, but Check out that detail, that's pretty amazing there. Now let's move on to a selfie of an amazingly good looking person that I know. Okay, maybe not so good looking, but hey, it's a selfie. And I'm actually quite surprised here. I actually really, really like the 6 and 6 Pro photos in this one, with the 6 Pro being my favorite. Just for the natural sort of skin tones it's producing, for some reason, on the X50 Pro, despite being the most expensive device, it's really got this kind of green tint to it and the highlights are a little bit too overblown. I'm sure this is something Realme are gonna patch later on with software, but at this point in time, gotta give it to the 6 Pro. All right, now let's move on to a portrait selfie. So when it comes to the portrait selfies, it's all about the edge detection and the amount of blur in the background that they can deliver. And again, all three phones are actually pretty impressive here. The main difference that I see between the three photos is the white balance. Which one do you think looks the best? There's a poll up in that top right corner right now for you to vote. And once you do that, you'll be able to see what everyone else voted for. Now let's test out the rear camera portrait mode. So it's virtually impossible for me to take a picture of myself with this unless I've got someone else there to do that for me. So here's the dog. And usually portrait software works best with humans, but hey, it kind of works here with the dog as well. And once again, it's another tough one to call. If I had to pick one, I'd probably say the X50 Pro just based off of the color accuracy that we're seeing there. The dog's fur just looks more true to life to me. Let me know what you think of the results on this one. And now let's move on to a HDR strong backlight test. So this one is very interesting. The six is focused purely on the foreground detail and as a result it's delivering maybe arguably the best picture here with that said all of that detail in the background is basically non-existent 
And that's the purpose of this particular test. With a phone that can adjust to high dynamic range, you should get more detail in the background, which you are getting on the 6 Pro and the X50. But at the same time as delivering more detail in the background, there's a sort of fog over the entire image, which kind of ruins it in a way. So for me, surprisingly, it's got to be a win for the entry level Realme 6. But if we're basing it purely on HDR, then the other two are definitely doing better. Let me know what you think about this. There is a poll up in that top right corner. Okay, now let's do a quick video test and then onto some lens tests and then onto the night shootout. Let's go. So there was an ominous obelisk in the middle of the forest that should serve the purpose for this lens test. So check this out. can clearly see further than the other two but as you can see it does suffer with some digital noise at max zoom and it seems to me like realme have kept the realme x50 pro just in range of where it can zoom far enough without losing details so you're actually getting quite a good detailed photo at max range there on the x50 what i also found interesting about all of the lenses here going through them is the color shifts between them as they switch. So let me know what you thought of the results there. If there was any standout winners in any particular lens, let me know in the comments below. And now, let's head into the darkness. Okay, so let's start this off with a low light shot and then gradually work our way towards a virtually no light shot. So in this one, you'll notice a difference in the colors straight away, but in terms of detail, they're all pretty good, particularly the 6 Pro. Although I do think the X50 Pro is the most accurate of the three, but it's close though. Now this one was taken in low light conditions indoors. Now let's go outdoors and try a low light shot. So here's a photo of a temporarily closed cinema. And here I think we can really see how good the ultra nightscape mode on the Realme X50 is. It's the only one that has this mode. The other two do have a night mode and they both perform well, but the Realme X50 Pro has the sharpest, most detailed and brightest photo of the three. And you can see going from left to right, how it gradually gets better. So it might be worth spending a little bit more money for the X50 Pro if you're into night photography. Now let's move on to a night selfie and some extreme dark photos. So 
note, when it comes to night photography, there is definitely a clear winner here. And it's no surprise really, the most expensive phone performed the best, but the prices of these three phones will really surprise you. If you don't know how much these phones are, I suggest you check out the links below this video. It might be an eye opener for you. And although the X50 performs really well at night, during the day segment of the video, it was way more competitive. So if you're looking at these three phones, you have to figure out what's most important to you. And if you guys enjoyed this one, you might like these other thumbnails on the screen right now. And if you did like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. See you in the next one. Don't be late.